Okay, now uh, now I've installed the HHA cell in the car and I'm getting some really good results. I need obviously now to do some really accurate MPG tests so we can test what she's doing. Um, the Trip Mileage computer in the car uh, it's a Toyota unit in a Volvo not sure whether it's really accurate um, and I don't really know whether I can calibrate it to get the uh, the required or check it I just don't know um, it's an artificial unit but I'm not sure whether it's accurate or not so what I've done for an alternative for now um, and obviously I'm going to need some help on this. If anybody's got any bright ideas, <laughs> I'd be glad to hear it. Um, I've connected the multimeter to the tank sender to measure the resistance in the unit, which obviously is a variable, uh, like a potentiometer type resistor or a variable rear stat. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Obviously, the, uh, the, the the fuel gauge in the car, although it's reasonably accurate, you can't get an uh, accurate uh, reading of it to, 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 for testing. Now, the um, the reading that I'm getting of the uh, tank unit is obviously in ohms. Uh, very low ohms, obviously. It's not a high resistance circuit, so you get quite an accurate reading of it. Now... I took a reading before I went to the gas station and uh, I got 80 ohms. Uh, I knew there was about four gallon roughly in the tank, but obviously not exactly. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, when I put petrol in, I put exactly four gallons, spot on. I metered it 18.18 litres, which is exactly four gallon. The reading then was 154. So from 80 to 154 uh, left a difference of 74 ohms for 4 gallon. Now split that into 4 and you've got 18.5 per gallon in ohms. Now I'm assuming that that would be a very accurate way of measuring because. Um, when the reading goes back to 80, then I know I've used exactly 4 gallon. And in the meantime, any, any variation between the, the 154 and the 80 in that 4 gallon range, I should be able to, to calculate the uh, MPG with just by checking the mileage I've done on the odometer. So, that's the idea. If anybody's got any bright ideas on this, then I'd be really, really pleased for any info. <laughs> on this because um, at the moment I'm not sure whether this is right um, I've just been to the shop and back and I reset everything to zero I went to the shop which is only well put it this way less than two mile and uh, I think the maximum speed I did at the time would have been probably uh, 15 20 mile an hour if that so without being able to calibrate this i need to get an accurate system so anybody help me please uh, please get in touch post me um make a comment on the video and uh hope to hear from you soon thanks a lot bye